Warning. The following video is intended for viewers 13 years and older. Viewer discretion is advised. You're here. You're ready. Welcome to my world. Welcome back again, my action figure hunters. This is Ghost with another great review of the Marvel Legends series, X-Men Wave Dead. And once again, follow my Facebook, Twitter, and also Instagram. That's also in the description if you guys want more updates, you know, and things like that. So I was able to come across this guy. Um, I actually have two cases of the X-Men Wave. This is the second case that I'm opening up to review for you guys because I do collect and... I'm a mint on card collector. I, I keep one for myself, you know, mint, and then the other one I open and display. So as you can see, we have this Marvel Legends series uh, figure here with Deadpool and his nice window box with all those beautiful, beautiful toys. And we have the Merc with the mouth himself with an interchangeable head. On the side of the box, we get a nice comic rendition of Mr. Deadpool himself. We got the back of the box with a little bit of uh, comic relief there of Deadpool. And you could see that it also, you know, he was part of the build a figure wave because he was the extra figure, the chase figure, as you will. So here's a little bio there of Deadpool. You can go ahead and pause and read that. And you can read the little comic right there. So that was the back of the box. Let's look at the side of the box. Once again, we have Deadpool, which is the same image on the other side. Bottom of the box, barcode, top of the box, we have the emblem. So, let's open this bad boy up, take a look at all of his beautiful toys. Alrighty, so we have the Merc with the mouth out of his packaging, which I'm pretty sure he's all happy about. So let's take a look at some of his accessories, because this guy has a lot of accessories. We have this gun here, as you can see. It's just like a straight gray plastic gun. I mean, it looks like a rail gun, almost kind of like the one Fortune had in Metal Gear Solid 2. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all I could say about it. It's non-realistic i mean it could be a sniper rifle it could be a pulse rifle it could be some kind of future wep futuristic weapon so that's it with that one this one is pretty much a shotgun or automatic shotgun because it has the drum barrel there it has a nice little foregrip here so you can have great handling and it's just all molded in gray plastic it'd be nice if they did some gun metal maybe some brown on the handle but it's all we get for 20 bucks it comes with this nice rocket launcher right here it has a nice little boxing glove there it's detachable so you can just plug that in right there you can also use the iron man um, effect parts that come with the iron man from the giant man wave or you could use the one that comes with the three pack which i will be reviewing for you guys soon so stay tuned make sure to you know hit the notification button that's right there by the subscribe button so that way you guys will get a notification when that one comes up so he has his little taco or chimichanga. So the lettuce is nice and painted. You got the beans in there and the meat. The taco shell is pretty nice as well. So it's a nice accessory for him. And then last but not least, he has his alternate head, which is all Freddy Krueger-like. You can see the nice paint apps on his eyes. They're yellow. His teeth are nicely painted white. And you got all the burn scars. It almost looks like puzzle pieces that are on his face. But that's pretty much the ex all the accessories comes with. I mean, he has more on him, but it is on his uh, himself as the figure. So let's take a look at the figure itself. Take a look at the paint apps. As you can see, he comes with another gun here. Both guns are identical. Just two Desert Eagle pistols right here. Molded in gray plastic. Let me pull this one out. So he does have weapon storage. See another Desert Eagle there. Molded plastic as well. And then he has his little Tonto here. Or K-Bar knife. Then he comes with his two Katanas. What is Deadpool without his Katanas? You can't have Deadpool without Katanas. Just plain and simple. So he has two Katanas here. Some good paint detail on the handles. You can see there's some red highlights there. And then the weaving in between. I wish that they painted them silver to make them a little bit more realistic, but I understand, you know, kids, not very sharp. You know, so you got some nice accessories there. So we went through all of his toys, and then now let's get to him, the toy himself. You hear that? It's a ratchet joint that's inside the arm itself for the joints. So the figure looks really great. Look at that paint apps on the face. You can see that the eyes 
One eye is actually smaller, he's squinting, one eye is big for the normal Deadpool face that he always does. And you can see that all the nice silver paint that's right there for, you know, sewing or rivets or however you want to look at the costume. I believe this is on the Bucky Cat mold with some new extra pieces. You can see the belt right there, look at the paint on the belt. All the little molding on the belt looks great, it's brown. They could have probably put a wash on it, make it look nicer. And I would have liked these to be crossed. Those are my, these are just small gripes. This is a very great figure. I mean, when you see the pictures that I was able to get with this guy, my goodness, this guy can really, really pose. Um, now, if we take a look at his articulation now, his head is on a ball peg, it fully swivels, 360 degrees. That's, the, that's about the most you can get him to look down. He could look up. That's a great amount of, you know, degree to look up. His arm is on a swivel, fully rotates, it's ratcheted, very stiff as well. That's as high as it goes. We've got a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, and no uh, forearm articulation, but we do got a wrist swinge, a uh, swivel, and a hinge as well. I said swinge, so that's swivel and hinge together, guys. Let's hashtag that, swinge. So whenever I get to this, I'm just going to say swinge. He has a swinge for now on. So we know all together. Okay, hunters, swinge. This is what this is called, swinge. Okay, so for diaphragm, we got his ab crunch. That's a degree he can crunch it and lean back. So he has a good amount of articulation for that. His waist swivel, he can go 360 degrees. Great thighs. That's how far he can go open them. The joint here moves this far up, that far back. He has a upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees. No, oh, he has calf articulation right here, so he can spin it. He has an ankle joint, and then he has ankle rocker. So this is the molded parts that are on his, that are new, are these boots. So you can see the little red shin marks or shin guards there. And then he has the buckles on the boots, which are painted very nicely with silver. So this is a little loose. Then he has a he has a lot of weapon storage, guys. I mean, look at this right here. This is where he could store his little Tonto blade or K bar survival knife. So that goes there. He has weapon storage for his guns. As you see, when I removed them, he has a holster here and a holster here. Back in the '90s, man, when I was buying toys, most toys didn't have any weapon storage. You had to pretend that he had weapon storage. So. The paint apps on this figure are great. I mean, I can see why everybody's grabbing this guy. I mean, he is not no peg warmer. I can tell you that right now. Um, people are going to be grabbing him. If you haven't grabbed him already, you better start or better make phone calls to grab this wave. I mean, your best bet is to go to like Frank and Sons and talk to a guy there that you might know. So that way he can get you this figure because it's a great figure. I, mean, I can't say any more about it. Let's get a good... Um, Height comparison with all the rest of the figures here in the line, or some figures in the line, so that way we can, you know, take a look at them, get a good height comparison, and see how he stacks up with the rest of the figures. Alrighty, so we got the rest of the figures here. We can see we have a couple other figures there. We got Wolverine, who's in the wave, and we have Venom, which is in a different wave. And you can see how he stacks up. He's once again right in the middle. Let's take a look at the actual measurement for him. We're looking at six and a half inches to the top of his head. Let's see if I can get that a little bit more. Yeah, about six and a half inches. As you can see, he fits perfectly in scale. I mean, he should It'd be a problem if he didn't, if he was too big or way too small. Um, there you go, guys. Make sure to follow me on my Facebook, which will be in the description, my Instagram, and my Twitter. Check that out. The link is in the description. Like, subscribe, my hunters, and stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.